Hello, my family, friends, and favorite equestrians. I'm here again. I was so worried that I was going to have a lack of quests now because I have so much reputation to build, but I honestly have quite a few to do, so I'm very excited, and I know there's a very exciting one coming up. I've done this particular quest on Nova, so I know that it's going to be fun, and it involves a waterfall, and I can't wait to do it with you guys and read your comments and talk to you about it because it's so much fun. <laughs> anyway, we have a couple of uh, small quest to do first and then we'll probably jump in let's get started Andy how are your chickens buddy doing well I hope we should be about done with this quest line right there's not much more to do with chickens hi Cadence do you want some eggs we have plenty can you collect some eggs and take some over to grandma you just have to put your hands inside the chicken wire the eggs are in the hay one dozen should be enough. Can you ride with a basket of eggs to Fergrove Village? I promise my grandma will be overjoyed. Good luck, and be sure to ride carefully. The eggs will break if you don't carefully ride. Oh, no, this is going to be one of those. Go really slow, or you have to start over. Great. Because I'm awesome at those. Oh, no. Here we go. Okay. Yep, see, the faster you ride, the more the danger bar goes up. We're so close. Come on, Wolf Pepper, we can do it. I'm surprised there isn't more securing these eggs. They're just kind of sitting there. There's no way those would stay. No way. Hey, Mrs. Packard. We did it. Here you are, Mrs. Packard. The eggs are so fine. It is great to hear that the chickens are doing well again. Both of us are so grateful for your help, dear Cadence. You will, of course, get something for all your efforts, but I have one last thing I want to ask you about. My good friend Harold in Silverglade Village bakes amazing pastries, and he needs fine eggs. It's so much fun to be able to give him fresh eggs. I've packed the eggs so you can ride fast without breaking them. Can you help me? I will see to it that your reward will be at Harold's when you get there. Sure. Off to Silverglade. Thankfully, we do not have to ride slowly the whole way there. Hey, Harold. There's some eggs for you. Cadence, great to see you again. I heard that you would be coming over with fine eggs for me. Thank you so much. Oh, I remember. Here's your reward for Mrs. Packard. She said I should give this to you. Have a nice day. And we got a t-shirt. Ooh, it's got a cupcake on it. I was going to say ice cream, but I think it's a cupcake. And it matches our hair. Thanks, Harold. We're still on a quest to help Tan find her missing money. Oops. No, we don't want to do that right now. The last place you'd look. Yes, I remember that I was at the lighthouse. You know, the large green and white lighthouse east of Moreland Stable, south of Jasper's Barn. I was there and looked at the view. The money has to be there. Could you be the nicest person ever and ride there and look? I think you'll have to search all around the lighthouse. Okay. I'm on Wolf Pepper today. He used to have the honor of being my highest level horse, but now that goes to Moon Diamond, who is currently level 12. I'm so excited. I'm going to do a video when I get close to maxing his level. Now we're going to look for Tan's money. And then maybe Moon, maybe uh, Wolf Pepper will be next, or Danger Nova. I'm not sure. But both are, are up there. I think Danger Nova is 10. Nothing of interest. Oh, Tan, this is so not going well. Nothing. Nothing at the lighthouse, Tan. Are you running out of options? What? Not there? But that's the last place I can remember. What if... What if it was stolen? There has been a lot of stuff stolen lately, Tan. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, so let's see how the fish are doing here at Valedale Lake. Mr. Anderson, what's going on? Look how much fish we have, Cadence, and it's because of you. It seems that the fish have multiplied and made themselves at home. Look how nice and clean the lake is. But I have to say, I'm still a bit worried. It's good to know that the fish get on, but I'm worried that the poachers will come back. We should think of something that will keep them away from here. We need to be very creative here. I think that we have to be sharp and one step beyond. What do you think about cutting apart the bridges, only a little, so when the poachers walk out on them, they will fall into the water? 
What about me when I walk out there? Or you, sir? I don't, I don't like this plan. No, you are right. Not a good idea. It affects ourselves. Maybe you have a better plan? Mm, I don't know. Cadence, you know what you are talking about. Of course we have to look for clues in the, around the lake. You and Wolf Pepper were so effective the last time you rode around the lake. Can't you take one more lap? Yes, I suppose we can. What sort of clues are we looking for? Oh. Aha. What is this? It looks like a belt. Oh gosh. I have to go back up that? I don't think I can go back up. Maybe we have to go around? Suspicious object found. What's this? A camera! It has to be from the poaching. Shall we develop the photos? First, we have to be sure about whose camera this is. If you ask around Veildale if someone is missing a camera, I can ask in Fergrove. We meet here later. Alright, ask someone in Veildale. Alright, let's check with Sophie here about this camera. Hi, it was long ago. Do you know what? I have seen that camera before. So you are looking for a poacher and think this camera can belong to him? The other day I saw a man with a fishing rod in his hand and exactly that camera around his neck. He went over the bridge and up towards the mountains and Veildale Lake. I'm pretty sure it's his camera. You should ride and tell Mr. Anderson about this. Oh, we will. Hello, sir. You say that Sophie was completely sure this camera belongs to a man with a fishing rod? It has to be the poacher's camera. Let's develop the photos. If we shall develop this film, we should go to James in Fort Pinta. He is very good at photography and developing. It could take a while to develop a film, so I think you should ride to him now. Here, take the camera with you. Alright, onward to James. I guess he is good at film stuff. He had us taking pictures for postcards and everything. James, we have some pictures for you to develop. Hey there, kid, and sneak camera. So you need some help with development? Of course I will develop your photos. You have helped me so very many times. He's being suspiciously nice to us. Well, I will fix all that. I hope so. That was a little strange for James. <laughs> to be so helpful. He didn't charge us or make us do any sort of chore or anything. Elizabeth has a quest for us that has to do with the waterfall's new green color. Why is everything turning green? Hey, Cadence, thank you for coming. You might have seen that there is something mysterious about the waterfall. I have no idea what has happened, but it can't be good. Avalon, our most knowledgeable druid, has begun to investigate what has happened. Can you ride over and ask him if he needs any help? He lives in the village by the waterfall. Ride over to the bridge and you will find him. Avalon, who we met at the druid circle, but we have not officially met in game outside of that. I'm so excited. He seems like such an interesting character. There he is. Hey, guy. Hmm, interesting. Hey, Avalon. Hmm, how can I be of assistance? The green waterfall? You must be cadenced. Elizabeth said that she would send over someone who might be able to help with this interesting problem. Thank you for coming. Cadence, that is your name, right? Perfect. The green waterfall? Oh, oh no, I clicked it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's no common contaminant that made the water green, you understand, but a dangerous magical material that has spread into the bedrock and into groundwater. Whoever would dare to be so careless with nature, I don't know, but I have my suspicions. I need to look into this more. Unfortunately, I don't have the strength anymore to move around like I used to. So it is good that you came to help. You get to be my legs in this investigation. Now we'll get started. There are three things I need your help with right now. <laughs> three? Ask Elizabeth what she knows. Has anything like this ever happened in Jorvik before? If this has happened before, we might be a lot closer to figuring out a solution to the problem. We need to examine the waterfall closer. Take this test tube and fill it with water from the waterfall. When you bring me the sample, I can examine it more closely. 
The water from the waterfall might be dangerous, so don't spend too much time in the field near there. Be careful. We need to see if the green water has spread or if it is only around the waterfall. I'm wondering specifically about Veildale Lake. Ride over there and take another sample from the water where it comes into the lake from the waterfall. Here's another test tube for you to use. I'll cross my fingers and hope it hasn't spread to there. But I fear the worst. Yeah, things are not looking good over there either, Avalon. <laughs> I can tell you that. I can tell you that. Well, yeah, that does look pretty bad. Let's get our test tube ready. Here it is. My inventory is filling up again. Wrong test tube. Okay. Whoa. All right, let's, yeah, we're not supposed to hang out there too long. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Elizabeth Sunbeam, we need some information from you. If the waterfall has been green before? No, not as far as I know. But now that you mention it, I have heard about something similar. It was a very long time ago, Caden. Stark Corps came to the island and drilled into the mountain at a few different places in Jorvik. I hear people talking about the water changing color around where they were doing the drilling. And about other mysterious things happening, too. I never saw anything myself, but I'm sure there is some truth to the rumors at the time. That company always seems to have mysterious and evil intentions. Tell Avalon about this. Maybe it will help him. All right. Well, we will return to him as soon as we've taken a sample from the lake. That's our last task. All right. We found, that was kind of short. I was worried we'd have to go around the entire track to get over here. There's a shady guy standing there looking at us. <laughs> I hope he didn't see us. Oh, hey, shady guy. We're not doing anything. Just admiring this emerald green waterfall. See ya. <gasps> Ooh, oh, gosh. We fell. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, Avalon, we have done some research and, oops, collected some samples. It's a tight corner there. What do you think, Floaty McGee? Good, good. It will be interesting to analyze the sample you took. Mm, so the water there is green too? I understand. I'll analyze the test sample you took there too. What? There was a roadblock there. A guard in a green coat too? That sounds like dark core cadence. Some of the sentences in this quest are a little tricky. <laughs> dark core, as I suspected. It seems likely that they are behind the green water this time again. All right, so he's gonna analyze the samples and we're gonna go do something else for the time being. We'll check back with you later, Avalon. So without even leaving Veildale Village, uh, we have another quest here with Claire, an assignment for cow friend. Hey, Cadence, this is how it is. Sophie needs help to milk the cows up here. She got such a pain in her back that she had to stop before all the cows had been milked. I'm really busy today, so I thought that since you already know our cows, you might be able to help. Sophie's over there with all the equipment. The poor thing. Go over there and give her a hand. I'll be sure to give you something for your trouble. Oh, we will gladly help. Is it the girl up the road? A little bit? Aha, it is her. Sophie! A riding hero. I can't show you how right now, but I can try to explain. There is only one cow left to be milked. I finished with all the others before my back forced me to quit. I must have pulled a muscle or something. Anyways, very annoying. But you're worth your weight in gold for helping me. Here, take this bucket. This is all you will need. You can do it. I like her positive attitude. We're gonna hop down off Wolf Pepper. I'm assuming we need to. And... Oh, here's the bucket. Alright. What's on his head? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Like a tracking device? <laughs> All right. All done. A full bucket of milk. I'm impressed. Was it heavy to carry? A little bit. So after we have milked the cows, we put the milk in smaller containers. It is a little impractical to have the milk in a bucket. Would you mind riding down to Elizabeth to ask if she has any more empty bottles? Not at all. 
You're so nice, Sophie, of course. Of course we will. Hey, Elizabeth, I like chatting when the circumstances aren't so dire. We just need some milk bottles. So nice of you, milk bottles. Sure, I just cleaned out a few of them that I got back earlier today. We always reuse the same bottles. When they're empty, we drop them off again. Good for the environment. There you are, now you have some milk bottles to take back to Sophie. They're almost like new. Yeah. Recycled bottles, perfect. Those should be enough for the milk in the bucket. I feel like an old lady right now, but my back really hurts. I can barely move. Please do me one more favor and pour the milk from the bucket into the bottles. I know how she feels. I threw my back out once when I was moving and it was horrible. Oh, so we'll start with the bucket and then pour the bucket there. Oh, that was way easy. We only had to do it once. You didn't even spill a drop. Is there something you weren't telling me that you're the world champion of milk pouring? <laughs> Are you just as good at milk delivery? I guess we'll find out. The baker in Silverglade Village has ordered some milk. You've met him before, right? Deliver the milk to him and we'll make sure you get plenty to drink when you get there. And the cheesemaker. Will up by the windmill outside Silverglade Village called and asked for more milk. He is making more cheese. You've picked up his cheese before? Great. Then you can deliver some more milk to him? Yeah, we got it. We can do milk delivery, sure. Milk for you, Harold. Aha, you've taken a job delivering milk. No, I'm only joking. I've spoken with Sophie. Very nice of you to help her out like this. I needed this milk to make the world's best ice cream. Here you go. A little extra jingle in your pockets for the help. <gasps> Thanks. I hope I get to try some of that ice cream. Now to see Will at the mill on the hill. We have some milk for you, cheese man, Will. Haha, <laughs> milk just in the nick of time. Now it will get turned into cheese for you, me, and Steve. <laughs> All right, excellent. I just wanted to pop in here and check on Agnetha, because if I can do one or two quests each time to help with the garden, we'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> Hold on there, Cadence. We have a serious situation here that I need to take care of. Do you want to help? That's the right attitude, Cadence. I can always count on you through thick and thin. Listen up now. Some sneaky parasites have snuck into the garden and are trying to steal the fruit of our labor. Those little biters are sneaky as can be, and I haven't managed to catch a single one of them. I comp I'm completely worn out. No matter how quick I am, they jump back down in their holes as soon as I get close. This does not seem like something she would be good at, because she's very gung-ho and aggressive. Sneaking up on things might not be her strong suit. I think you need to sneak up on them. Maybe you could give it a try. Good. Take this sack stuff it with those little guys. You'll need to sneak up on them to be able to catch them. Remember that. <laughs> so don't be on horseback. Step one. Step two, walk, don't run. What do we need? This this net, this sack, cage. Ooh, okay. Hang out here, Wolf Pepper. We've got some little rascals to sneak up on. Ooh, ooh. Let's get behind him. Ready. Getting. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> I ran and I dropped the cage. Okay. All right. We caught a rodent. Love it. Mm. Nope. That guy was facing the other way. Ooh, this guy's not looking. We got you, little buddy. Oh, that guy was looking. This one's not. Boom! All right, so I guess we didn't have to be super slow. We just had to make sure we were behind them. We caught all these little critters. Good to go. Well done, Cadence. There are a lot of those little guys in the sack. What should we do with the little parasites? I'd like to throw them off a cliff. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but Bjorn would never agree to anything like that. Me either. We could send them to old Steve's. Him and me don't really get along, but take the little guys there. He likes small animals like this. I guess birds of a feather flock together. All right, rude. Oh, hey, Steve, we have something for you. Chipmunks, how nice. My own little guys need some new friends. Agnetha, she's completely crazy, Cadence. Are you sure you are going to work with her? Did you know she worked on my farm before? But it didn't work out. Even on Sunday, she was out there chopping wood and pl 
plowing fields. I thought she would take some time off, but she never did. Ever. She didn't want me to rest either. I was afraid of going out of my house until it was dark. I had to let her go. It was just too stressful having her here. But send my greetings to Bjorn and let him know the chipmunks are going to fit in well there. Bye-bye, Cadence. Bye-bye, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> so their personalities didn't quite didn't quite get along. Still like them both. Hey, Bjorn. Message from Steve. Hello, Cadence. So our little chipmunks are going to have a good life over at Steve's. That is great to hear. Agnetha can get a little fired up when she thinks people are not working hard enough so she doesn't get along well with Steve. I think it's a little sad since Steve and I have a lot in common. But listen, Cadence. We need to work day and night to get these flowers to bloom. We can't possibly manage it without your help, so please come here every day, take care of a couple things, and before you know it, it'll be harvest time. I'm so excited about all of this. There's a small chance I'll pee myself. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. We're starting uh, a rather exciting quest with Avalon. I cannot wait to do more of that one. I'll keep checking back with the, the garden and doing some work. I think he has another quest, but he also has some uh, like rep chores to do. So I'll do those on my own time. And we've unlocked the circus tent quest, which I cannot believe we haven't done yet. <laughs> but we'll be doing those soon too. And you have the Starshine legacy to look forward to. I get a lot of, when are you going to do that one? And I will do that soon. I think it's going to be a, a good summer game, but I've just had some other games to wrap up. Uh, for instance, the Minecraft story mode just finished. I have another uh, game from Artifacts Monday that I've played, and I'll have those videos up soon that include a, a giveaway for copies of that particular game. It's been a, it's a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, so I'll be doing Starshine Legacy soon, I promise. And I'll continue doing uh, Sims and maybe Undertale. I'm not over the moon about Undertale. <laughs> I don't know. I think now that I've gotten more of the hang of it, it should be more fun. So I'm going to give it another go, but I'm not totally sold on it. But you guys love it, and I know it's going to be awesome, so I'm determined to check it out. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I love my new shirt. <laughs> it's adorable, and I will have um, a maxing moon diamond video for you soon. As I mean, as soon as he's maxed. He's 12 now, almost 13. And uh, also a home stable tour and all my horses video, which I know you guys are looking forward to. I've been thinking about doing an FAQ video too. If you guys want to see that, start putting uh, FAQ questions, <laughs> questions, Q&A questions in the comments and I'll start writing them down. So thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.